Hey guys, this is Jack with Adventures with BG. We're going to do a shotgun and bolt action rifle 101 cleaning real quick. So, the <clears throat> first thing you guys are going to need is some eye protection, number one always. And then you're going to need some sort of a firearm cleaning air lube. I've got some hops here, but my favorite happens to be some CLPs made by Break Free. Um, another good one out there is uh, Frog Lube. A little expensive for my taste, but great stuff. Uh, pretty much every company makes their own uh, cleaner. Next, you're going to need a uh, cleaning kit. I recommend just buying the all caliber cleaning kit. That way, you don't have to worry about going back and buying a whole other kit if you just get one caliber cleaning kit. Then, you're going to need some cotton swabs, cotton pads. You can probably use cotton balls if you really want, but I mean, they sell these a thousand for a couple bucks. Maybe a rag, I like rags, and then a light or a bore light. I just got this little mad light, uh, like 10 bucks, not that big of a deal. So, you want to put your eye pro on, and you want to make sure that all your firearms are checked, and you want to check them twice. We happen to check them off screen, but I'll go ahead and give you guys a little look. Hopefully you guys can see that, that guy's clean. And check this guy real quick. There we go. I hope you guys can see that. So, I'm going to start off, start with this guy. Most bolt action rifles will have a little tab, um, either, I think the Remington 770s have a little flip up thing. All you got to do is push down, let's see, let me figure this one out. Push down on this guy, bolt should come right out. Easy squeezies. So. Take that guy out, set it aside, clean it a little bit. So when you get your ram, uh, ram rod to come in your kit, if not, you're going to want to get one of these bad boys. Make sure you get a three piece, I think they sell two pieces. For your rifles, you're going to want a three piece, otherwise that's not going to go all the way down to the breech and you're going to have a bad day. So get one of your cotton pads, get your uh, favorite cleaner. Put this guy down. Then you take it on your, your great rifle. Oh, a ramrod. Let's see if I can do this with you guys seeing it. And just shove it down in there, and it'll come out the back. See, this guy happens to be already pretty clean. So, we're gonna quit with that. And you can also run your wire brush down in there. Most cleaning kits come with them. Clean off any lead, copper, what's left. Set that guy aside. Get your rag, or you can use one of these. I happen to have this triangle bandage I use. Get this guy pretty wet. You want to be pretty liberal, especially with the uh, cleaner, cleaner lubricant preservative like the CLP, like I like. And then just clean, wipe this guy down real well. Helps keep all the rust off and all the crud. Then all you got to do is most most have some aligning tool. Uh, this one happens to have these two little dog ears. Should be able to line it just right, like so, and it just slips right back in and locks in. Then, if you want, good idea generally to wipe your barrel down, wipe your scope down, make sure nothing's rusted or loose. And then, I like to check my bore, just a little trusty flashlight. Just to make sure there's nothing down in there. Because the last thing you want to do is have something down in there next time you go shoot and have a catastrophic failure. So, clean that guy. Move on to our little trusty pump shotgun. Pretty much the same deal. You just bust this guy down to two pieces. Fortunately, I don't have a 
semi-auto to show you guys. But it's same concept. You put the bolt back and just run ramrod down as needed. So do the same thing. Put that guy down pretty good. You just ram this guy down, down the shotgun. See, mine's pretty dirty. Do it as needed. Run your wire brush down in there. Make sure you get that clean. And if you have a semi-auto and you're dove hunting, something like that, and you keep stove piping, chances are your gun is filthy. So just go ahead and take that guy apart and go ahead and clean them up real well. This is a big problem. Put this guy down. wipe this guy down. Get in the breach a little bit. Whatever I can reach. Wipe. Check down in here. That guy looks super good. Sometimes if you want to be real lazy Sometimes I put a, a towel down inside my safe and I spray them down with CLP real well and I stand them up on the barrels and let it drain out. Not the best process, but sometimes it works really well. Alright guys, thanks again. Signing off. Have a good one.